Hello there, I am Giant Quote with more Earthbound. In the last part, we continued from the um, drugstore up um, a little bit north from here, and now we also did um, a lot of training for Jeff. We got him to level 5, I believe. Yep. Um, he started level 1 just like Paula did, so I had to train him up. Um, we already talked to like all these guys. I think what we have to do to progress in the game is go in this certain tent. I believe it's this one right here, because it's kind of nighttime or still dawn. It's not really light outside. To say the least. So we think we have to talk to this guy. I am a cook for the Tessie Watching Club, and they're just part of a big club. If I didn't mention that, they have basically a club based on watching Tessie. They try to get like a photo or something, or see it. I know how it's gory, I guess you could say. How about some stew? Yes, sure, please. No, no, there is no need to pay me. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Let's activate another dream. Okay, you you are a friend who I have never met before, Jeff. Head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can, can became, became the defense spray, which is awesome. I think it, I don't exactly know what it does, but it's really good to have, I guess. Because it has to do with defense or something. <laughs> okay. So now that it's light outside after you do that little cutscene, it's kind of windy too. I'm not really going to talk to any of the people who have binoculars, I just want to get on to the next part of the game, I guess. Kind of like, you kind of slow down when you're trying to walk and stuff. Oh man. Oh man, it's the guy who's spinning out of the sky right now! Ah, he's gonna take a picture of us! Picture's taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius if I don't see it so myself. Okay, get ready for the instant memory. Let's look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles, fuzzy pickles! Yeah, Jeff doesn't even pose. He doesn't even smile pretty much. <laughs> okay, wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back memories, bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, and he just, f I don't know where he goes in the sky and w if he has a house up there or anything. But to progress in the game, go into this little dark spot right there. It's kind of brownish. Uh, cookie Kaku, give me some gum now. Cookie Kaku, I'll take care of everything. Okay, so we give, him, we give Bubble Monkey some more gum. He was another bubble, and he's, oh, okay, Whirlpool. Oh, wait, no, it's Tessie. Just one sprite, too. This kind of reminds me of, um, well, actually, never mind. I'll save that for, like, two minutes in the future, actually, of this video. We, he, he's on the top of the head, you know? He's on top of the head. And I think we can hop on, right? You wouldn't just leave Jeff right there, right? That wouldn't be good. He kind of just walks and you even hop onto him. Like, you could have. Does Jeff know how to walk on water? This reminds me of Super Mario 64 Hazy Maze Cave, where you can ride on that sea monster at the basement part, where, like, you get the star called Mario's. Mario. Metal Mario Head Can Move or something. Or, um, stuff like that. Or the secret where the, um, greens. Green Switch Palaces for the Metal Cap. It kind of reminds me of the monkey uh, just being Mario because he's red and you can ride on top of his head, like in the sea monster. Um, sea creature in Super Mario 64 and Hazy Maze Cave level, the chorus. So I thought that was really cool. And I like this music too, it's very cheery. We're just taking a ride, I guess. Nothing like taking a ride, taking a ride, taking a ride, uh, 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 taking a ride, taking a ride, uh, 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 uh. And we make it all the way over here. Yeah, and then Tessie goes bye bye. I can't believe the. The fan club of Tessie, the Tessie watching club, didn't snap one photo or look at it as it um, come, came up from the water. Jeez. After a while, you can finally move again, hopefully. There we go. Okay. Is there anything up here? I was always curious. Nope. Okay, it's not. I can't believe you can't just jump off the ledge just like, um, you know, in Pokemon, you can do that. Jeez. I've been able to do that since Gen 1, actually, in Pokemon. But not in Earthbound. Well, this is technically also Mother 2 in the Japanese. Mother 2 is the Japanese version, too. Why'd I grab that? I don't. I got the magic butterfly for no reason. Because, again, Jeff doesn't have any PSI attacks, therefore, he doesn't need PP. At all. Or, yeah, at all. Um, here's. I gotta check this thing. For some weird. Okay, you said the same thing as, like, the um, Peaceful Vest Valley. Yeah, we need the pencil racer to get that pencil, but we don't have the pencil racer. It's with Ness and Paula. So, yeah, Brick Road entrance, that's all you can really see it's an entrance but let's go into this entrance instead this dungeon has no entry entrance fee come on in well any other dungeon in the game like you never had to pay to go in so it's like whatever man so it's like a big maze it's brick road and i guess these things are bricks but they don't look like bricks bricks are rectangular Ooh, um i want to start i'll start right here actually at the very top so yeah we got a rowdy mouse here okay we'll have to battle it fine take on this rowdy mouse Smash! Ooh, no. I don't want that. Oh, no, not a biting attack. Anything but that. 
Yes, thank you for becoming tame. Thank you so much. 34 experience points, Jeff got. <laughs> Jeff got 34 experience points. Okay, so this is a present, I guess, or item. So let's see here. I'm gonna eat one of my bread rolls. Oh, Jeff will eat one of his bread rolls. His HP maxed out to 45. Okay, cool. Let's um check this. Jeff opened the present. There was a bread roll inside. Okay, so it mixed up the bread roll I just ate. Cool. Nice. Okay, so let's go to the second section, I guess. Now, there's a glitch coming up where if you press L... Okay, this is a mad duck. Never mind. It's for the next little section. So I don't know why this is my duck is mad. It's like crazy duck, I guess. It's not really technically like, angry or anything. But it's just that it's a new enemy. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, try to beat it. Yeah, I'll shoot the mad duck. Like, how come every time every enemy we run into, it's, it's kind of like bad if you can you know, like, shoot it like with a gun. But like, no, this is a pop gun, I guess. Not like a firearm or anything. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they can also have an effect where they can't let you use PP. But Jeff can't already use any PP moves, like PSI move, moves anyway, so it's okay. Here's another item. Jeff over the present there was an ins insect side prey spray inside. Just take Jeff takes it. Cool. So yeah, um, but yeah, Jeff can't learn any PSI moves as I said many times before now. So it's kind of good on us that it had no effect. Also, I did the glitch right there. If you press L right before the battle starts with this um fake present enemy, which is a um worthless protoplasm, I guess, which looks like poo actually, but just a different color. It's purple instead of brown, so it's like a piece of poo. It's bad. <laughs> You can actually open the present, which is really cool, which I did right there, so that's cool. And my challenge is I'm going to do that with all the present enemies if I can. I'm going to try my best with that, just to prove my worthiness. No, I'm just kidding, I don't have to prove anything. Ha ha ha. It became, okay, the worthless protoplasm or whatever it became tame. Nice. Jeff is now level 6. Offense went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Yay. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Okay, it's another present. This could be an enemy, though. Okay, good. It's a very good present. Okay, broken iron side, but there. Okay, I'm gonna eat a. I'm gonna eat a bread roll, I guess, to make room. Okay. And you know what? I'm. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of a couple of things. Actually, now I think about it, I'm gonna get rid of the roar because I don't think it'll do anything. Um. So I got rid of the roar. Or Jeff got rid of the roar and the protractor. Yeah, I'm gonna just drop that. Because I don't think they're any of use to us right now, and uh, plus we got rid of them permanently, so. It's just, it's just making room in our uh, s store inventory for Jeff. So yeah. I'm gonna, I just did that just so I didn't have to do it later and have to switch out items or think about it for a little bit. Nope, I just did it. This is a dead right here, so I have to go up here. This maze isn't really too hard, so it's okay. Okay, let's read this sign. Yeah, okay. Um, watch out for falling materials. Brick Road. <laughs> The yellow brick road? Ah, oh, that's... I love Wizard of Oz. Ah, no, he came in twice in one part, no! Okay, anyway, he's gonna take a picture of us. I'm kinda covering a bubblegum monkey. Um, so yeah. Okay, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph genius if I don't say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles! Okay, cool. Wow, what a great photograph. I, I will always bring back memories bring back the fondest of memories. Cool. Nice. Okay, let's move on. Come on, twice in one part. What, what, who do you think he is? Who does he think he is, I should say. That's a dead right there. Let's take on this mad duck, because he's mad. He's crazy mad. Let's shoot the mad duck. God, that still sounds like really like animal abuse, like I'm trying to kill it. <laughs> or Jeff is trying to kill it, not me. I'm just playing the game, bro. Okay, he came to his senses, okay, whatever. You took out- okay, so, Jeff can't use P- okay. You, you, that did no effect, I should just say that from now on. That did no effect, mad duck. Silly goose, I <laughs> get it? Okay, but he's a duck. Okay, Jeff gained 41 experience points today. Um... Appears that on into the- I, I pressed the L, but it's too late. I pressed it too late to open the present. Let's shoot this, uh... This worthless protoplasm, or whatever it is. Let's just keep on shooting. Shooting until it's dead. <laughs> That's very dark. That, that turned out to be very dark on my part. <laughs> that rhymed. Okay, we won. Yay. 17 experience f points for Jeff. Nice. I think this is the quick way to go, but like... Oh, wait. Here's a present. I think it's another... I think this is a croissant. Open the present. There's a croissant. Yay. Just takes it. Yeah, I don't need any heal. I don't need heal any heal Jeff up anyway right now, so I'll just save it. Um, we have one space left in our Jeff's inventory, so that's good. Let's make our way around here, and let's go down here. 
Oh, that's uh, actually the right way we need to go. Okay, so we have to take on this Rowdy Mouse unless we can magically avoid it, which I don't think we can because it's too narrow of a path. Let's take on this Rowdy Mouth and battle him. Smash. Ooh, this sma this Rowdy Mouse is really often often usually gets a lot of smashes on you, so keep that in mind. Ooh, it just missed that time. Cool. The Rowdy Mouse became tame. It did 13 HP on that smash attack. Wow. Let's open this present then. Yay, no problem here. Okay, let's open the present then. <laughs> stun gun was inside. Jeff takes it. Ooh, what? Stun gun? Wait, is that, is that more powerful than Offense 23? What if we put the stun gun? Offense to 31. Awesome, we got a stun gun. Uh, it went from 23 to 41. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it did. Nice. So stun gun's better than pop gun, I guess. By 8 points, exactly. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this has been the end of my Earthbound Let's Play part. Next part, we'll hopefully get out of this Brook Road dungeon or whatever, and hopefully get closer to saving uh, Ness and Paula. And that'd be great because we haven't seen them in like two or three parts now, so it'd be cool to catch up with them and try to cross paths with them again so Jeff can meet them finally because it's again their friends that he never met before. So yeah, this has been Trico again. I'd like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.